Lesson 12. Mädchen. Okay, so in the last lesson, we talked about the umlaut and how it could affect pronunciation of the German letter A. And now we're going to apply that to our first noun that actually has that, the A with the umlaut. The word Mädchen, which also is neuter and will get the article das. So it is das Mädchen. This is an excellent opportunity to talk about the difference between natural gender and grammatical gender. Because we all know that a girl is, according to natural gender, uh, is feminine, but the word machen is just a word. It's not a girl. It's just a word that means girl. And so this is an important concept that I want our listeners to understand, is that a word that means something is not the same as the thing it means. The, the word that signifies something is not the same as the thing it signifies. So although a girl is feminine, grammatically it's gone through a kind of a transformation because the C-H-E-N suffix is a diminutive. It means uh, it's a smaller version of something. So like our English word maid, in archaic English, you know, you'd say, hello, fair maid, you know. A maid was a woman. With the C-H-E-N suffix, it's a little woman, right? So therefore a girl. Yes. But all nouns in this class of nouns that have this C-H-E-N suffix, they automatically become neuter in gender. Is that correct? That is correct. So you could do the same actually to man. We have der Mann, but if we add the chen and an umlaut for this one, it would be das Männchen. Now, I've never heard that word before. Is that a real thing? Männchen? Yeah. Um, it's more like um, in a fairy tale, like a small little man, you know, like a dwarf oh. kind of. Oh, like a or, dwarf or an elf or something. Yeah. Or maybe you might say to like a pet or some, like something you want to make cuter, right? Okay. So whether the original noun is masculine or feminine, once you put that diminutive ending on it, it automatically becomes neuter as far as its grammatical gender. Exact. So this is a, a great example for our students to think about how grammatical gender is different from natural gender. I think, I think the reason I'm harping on this is because I find it interesting. From a linguistic standpoint, it's interesting to me how grammatical gender and natural gender don't always overlap. Since Mädchen is neuter, you got to put das in front of it. Das Mädchen, right? Right. So you can't mix and match. You cannot say der Mädchen, right? No, that would be incorrect. So the gender of the article must match the gender of the noun that it's introducing. 